Mayo Clinic is world-renowned for its innovation in virtually all fields of medicine. Technology and science have led to discoveries capable of treating some of the human body's most challenging conditions. And increasingly, doctors and researchers are finding that a tiny collaborator can help them find the answers they seek the zebrafish. We have 80,000 adult fish in the fish room. We usually call it the fish farm. It's an aquaculture facility that is one of the best in the world. We generate up to 10,000 uh, embryos a day for large-scale genetic and biological testing. Dr. Steven Ecker is a professor of biochemistry and molecular engineering. He is also director of the zebrafish research program at Mayo Clinic. I think most people are surprised at how related we are to a small fish. We share the heart, we share uh, kidney, we share pancreas, we share uh, digestive systems, we share eyes and ears. Which makes the zebrafish almost ideally suited for studying essentially any disease or physiological system, tissue, gene function, or biochemical process such as addiction. The number one and number three preventable causes of death and excess health care costs in this country are tobacco and alcohol uh, respectively and we have programs in all those areas using zebrafish. Only the laboratory mouse is more widely used by researchers around the world but Dr. Ecker predicts zebrafish use will continue to grow. Fish take far less space, are easier to care for, and because they reproduce and develop rapidly, he says scientists may get the results faster. The eggs develop externally, so you can see literally from the one cell stage everything. The zebrafish is the premier model for understanding how we go from a one cell early vertebrate to this rich body that we are. One of the other beauties of the zebrafish system that we use is that it is a much more permissible organism for regeneration. Dr. John Henley is studying how severed nerves try to repair themselves. Do you grow straight? Do you make a right turn? Do you make a left turn to find their, their, their way to the correct target? His team's research has uncovered some startling chemical signals that may one day allow severed spinal cords to heal and even reverse paralysis. And then it allows us, instead of just making findings in a culture dish and then surmising it might be relevant for in the animal, we can actually test it in the fish model and see if we can uh, restore function. To suit a wide variety of research needs, Mayo's program generates five to ten novel lines of zebrafish strains each week. They're shared with fellow scientists all around the world. I've learned a lot of things about zebrafish because I've been working with them since I was in seventh grade at Lincoln. Even some very young scientists who've impressed the research community enough to have their findings published in the peer-reviewed journal Zebrafish, its youngest contributors ever. One of the amazing new things we started about five years ago is a, a science education reform program called Inside Out, where we are using the zebrafish in schools. The goal is to really reimagine and rebuild science education and here in Rochester our lead school is now the top science school in the state. So whether the questions involve cardiology, neurology, oncology, genetics, aging, or regenerative medicine, at Mayo Clinic medical researchers may find the answers swimming right before their eyes. And I'm excited that the zebrafish is, is here at Mayo Clinic really contributing to that understanding.